The American-born Gerald Stone began his career as a copy boy at the New York Times before emigrating to Australia in 1962. He worked for the Daily Mirror in Sydney and the ABC before being appointed founding producer of the Nine Network's 60 Minutes. Uh, this was uh, an era in Australia that was filled with hypocrisy. It was sacred uh, cows that had lived too long, people paying late lip service. And there is nothing like hypocrisy to bring out good journalism. The program, based on the US model with star reporters at the centre of the story, became a ratings juggernaut for the Nine Network in the 1980s and cemented Nine's reputation as the leading commercial network for news and current affairs. At the time when he came to 60 Minutes, or was the, um, uh, I suppose, the inaugural executive producer for the Australian version of the program, Australians were not very interested in what happened in the rest of the world. But eventually, as we all know, he turned that somewhat unwanted idea into, to borrow uh, his own book title, a book that he wrote years later, Compulsive Viewing, uh, and that's no mean feat. Stone enjoyed a close but sometimes difficult relationship with his proprietor, Kerry Packer, and after Packer's death, wrote a compelling book on the decline of the network, entitled Who Killed Channel 9? Such was the respect for Stone that despite the savagely critical book, he was commissioned to review the most damaging affair in 60 Minutes history, a botched child rescue attempt in Lebanon. He had an instinct for a story. He knew what a story was, it was in his bones, and he knew how to tell a story to a particular audience. 